In this activity, you will think about handling difficult people and situations effectively, using assertiveness and not aggression. Click the Start button to proceed. Assertiveness is the quality of being well-balanced and confident, and being able to stand up for your, or other people's rights in a calm and positive way, without passively accepting wrong or being aggressive. Is this statement, true or false? That's good, you have correctly identified the meaning of assertiveness, it is the quality of being well-balanced and confident, and be able to stand up for your own or other people's rights in a calm and positive way. Someone who is assertive behaves confidently, and is not frightened to say what they want or believe. On the other hand, being aggressive involves responding or behaving in an angry or violent way towards another person. We should never blindly accept incorrect behavior from others. Similarly, we should also never be aggressive when dealing with such situations. While being assertive leads to positive results, being aggressive is rude, and leaves a poor impression of us on other people. Click on each image to see how the following people deal with their respective situations. Then drag and drop the communication style, to match the approach of the people. Click on each image, to see how the following people deal with their respective situations. Then drag and drop the communication style, to match the approach of the people. Click on each image, to see how the following people deal with their respective situations. Then drag and drop the communication style, to match the approach of the people. Nick works as a sales representative for an insurance company, he has been expecting a raise in his pay for some time. He discusses this with his boss, and she says that he would have to wait a little longer. The company cannot afford salary increments right now, but she assures him that his performance has been excellent and he will be considered for a salary increase, when the time is right. How did Nick handle this discussion? Nick respects himself and his need to be compensated fairly, but he also wants to understand his boss's reasoning. Hence, he does not start an argument. Instead, he requests his boss for more clarity on the company's future, and to redefine his targets clearly, so that his performance can be reviewed when the company is finally ready to process salary increments or appraisals. John works as a store manager for a retail company. One of his staff members, Ali, has been working inefficiently for the last several weeks. His work often has errors, other co-workers have to constantly support him, and he is late to work every day. How did John handle Ali? The next morning, John stops Ali in the middle of the office while all the other employees are working. John loudly screams at Ali that he is useless, and if the quality of his work does not improve, Ali will lose his job very soon. Good job, you correctly identified Nick's communication style as assertive. Nick was polite with his boss and spoke about his expectations in a polite, firm, and respectful way. In the long run, Nick's assertive approach will get a more positive outcome and will leave a good impression on others. However, John was aggressive and rude in his communication with Ali. Instead of screaming at Ali in front of all the other employees, John should have met Ali privately. Then, he could have gently asked Ali why the quality of his work was suffering. As a leader, it was John's responsibility to help Ali improve by telling him ways to be a better employee. In the long run, John's aggression and rudeness will lead to him losing his team members' respect. You have been standing in a long queue for the last 40 minutes at a bank's ATM. Suddenly, someone walks into the area, and stands in front of you instead of joining the queue at the back. How should you handle this situation? You should scream loudly, at the person and insult them, to ensure they never repeat this mistake. You should politely inform the person that there is a queue and everyone is patiently awaiting their turn. You should stay quiet and let the person do whatever they want. 
you should complain about the person to the other people in the queue and let them take action. Select the correct response, and click Submit. Good job. That is correct. You should politely inform the person that there is a queue and everyone is waiting for their turn. Instead of assuming the worst, handle the situation calmly and politely. Most likely that person didn't realize that they were doing something wrong. Your co-workers inform you that a team member has been saying bad things about you, behind your back. What should you do? You should talk to the person directly and clarify the situation. You should let the entire office know about how bad this person is himself. You should ignore it while mentally hating this person. You should go and fight with this person. Select the correct response, and click Submit. Your co-workers inform you that a team member has been saying bad things about you behind your back. What should you do? You should talk to the person directly and clarify the situation. You should let the entire office know about how bad this person is himself. You should ignore it while mentally hating this person. You should go and fight with this person. Select the correct response, and click submit. That is correct. You should talk to the person directly and politely clarify the situation. Speak to them privately, tell them what you have heard, and then ask them whether it is true. Proceed to discuss the situation politely, and straighten out any differences. It is always better to directly seek clarity from the other person. This leaves no confusion and strengthens human relationships. Your friend has recently begun painting, and is planning to quit her job to do it full time. She has asked your opinion on the matter. You feel that her paintings are not very impressive, and she might not be able to make any money at all, if she quits her job. What should you tell your friend? You should ignore your opinion, and encourage her to chase her dreams. You should tell her that it's a foolish decision because her paintings are terrible. You should avoid talking to her again because you do not want to lie to her and also do not want to hurt her feelings. You should advise her to spend a little more time practicing her painting skills and then decide, as this might be too early to jump into something new. Select the correct response, and click Submit. That is correct. You should advise her to spend a little more time practicing her painting skills and then decide her next step as this might be too early to jump into something new and quit a full-time job. Your advice should be sincere, polite, and respectful. Your boss is making a presentation in a meeting, when you realize that he has entered incorrect information. What should you do? You should keep quiet and let the presentation continue. You should openly highlight his mistake. You should share the correct data with him, and politely tell him that the information you have is recent and relevant to the presentation. You should tell this to your team members to see their reactions. Select the correct response, and click Submit. That is correct. You should politely inform your boss that the report has incorrect information, and share the correct information with him while acknowledging that he might have missed something by mistake. This will give an opportunity to your boss to correct his mistake without being embarrassed. You have recently joined a computer course. The teacher of the class seems to be going very fast with the lesson, and at times you feel lost and confused. What should you do? You should speak to your teacher outside class, let him know about your challenges, and tell him how his support can benefit you as a student. You should ignore the teacher and study the lesson yourself. You should tell the teacher about your problem in front of the whole class. This will help you take a vote from other students too. You should complain about the teacher to the senior authorities. Select the correct response, and click Submit. That is correct. You should speak to your teacher outside class, 
let him know about your challenges and politely tell him how his support can benefit you as a student. This straightforward and respectful approach is always appreciated by people, and they respond in a positive manner. Here is an opportunity to use assertiveness to convince or influence the other person in the given situations. Select a game mode. Help Tara, be assertive during her interaction with her. Tara is working as a project manager in one of the reputed mobile manufacturing companies. She is handling a very important project with a launch date at the end of next week. The project has gotten delayed and needs to be brought back on track. To get the project back on track. Tara estimates that if the entire team works for 45 hours instead of the scheduled 40 hours in the next week, they will be able to meet the launch date. She plans to communicate this clearly to the team leaders today, in the project status meeting. Hello Omar, and Dahlia, I think you both are already aware, that we are slipping on the deadline for the project. I think we should ask the team, to work overtime to be able to meet their deadlines. Yes Tara, we are aware about the delay in the project. However. We cannot make the team work overtime. They will get burned out. Sarah, you need to look for other options to get the project back on track or ask the clients for an extension on the deadline. We cannot make the team work overtime. It's just not acceptable. Oh, Omar and Alia did not take my suggestion positively. I think I have to rephrase and clearly communicate my suggestion in a more assertive manner. Help Tara. Choose a statement to assertively communicate exactly what is required in this difficult situation. Select the correct option, and click Submit. I am not here to listen to your excuses. I have to keep the client happy not you or your team, so there is no other option, but to force the team to work extra hours to meet the deadline. I am not asking the team to stretch excessively, but just a little bit every day for a week. I have estimated that if each team member puts in an additional 5 hours in the next week, we might be able to get the project on track and meet the deadline. I am not saying that you are wrong. I am just informing you about the situation, and I think we should try to do something, like, working overtime to be able to meet the deadline. Click the audio icons to listen to the options again. Well done. You helped Tara assertively communicate what exactly is needed in the given situation. She provided the relevant information in a straightforward and clear manner while assertively stating the actions that need to be taken. The advantage of being assertive is that even though you state your points, you still consider the other person's needs, viewpoints, and feelings. You speak without letting your emotions come in the way. On the other hand, being aggressive in your communication can lead to undesirable results where the other party may misunderstand your intentions and find you rude. Similarly, speaking very casually or apologetically may show that you are not sure about how to deal with the situation. Therefore, it is important to be clear, assertive, and polite during your interaction with others. Omar and Dahlia are still not convinced that putting in extra efforts is the only solution to the problem. They share their objections. Tara, I cannot demand my team to put in extra hours each day. They all have been working hard on this project for a long time, now, and it doesn't seem like a feasible solution. Tara, I agree with Omar. All the team members are giving their best. This project, since the very first month, has been challenging, and we cannot demand the team now to work extra hours to meet the deadline. I think the deadlines are unrealistic. Omar and Alia are still not receptive to the idea. During my assessment of the project, I found that in the past few months, instead of investing the required 300 hours of effort per month, we invested less than 250 hours. Quite a few unplanned emergency and sick leaves were taken by the team members. Since these leaves weren't accounted for in the project plan, it resulted in the delay. 
I think I need to state very clearly the concerns related to the situation. Help Tara, be direct and communicate her concerns related to the problem, or stated objections. Select the correct option, and click Submit. I'm surprised, that you allowed your team members unplanned leaves, when they were working on such a critical project. That's extremely poor project management. Now, please do whatever I am asking you to do. I understand, that you care about your team members. I am not happy with the proposal either, but I don't know how else to save the project and meet the deadline. I found that many unplanned leaves taken by employees last month, were approved by you, but they were not accounted for in the project plan. This has caused the delay, and it can be resolved only by compensating for the lost hours. Click the audio icons to listen to Tara's thoughts again. Well done. You helped Tara, be direct and clearly communicate the concerns related to the problem or stated objections. Remember, it's important to be clear about the outcome you want to achieve. You must share your concerns firmly while giving valid reasons for the proposed solution. Always stick to the facts and state the issues without sounding too demanding or emotional. Omar and Alia now seem to have a clarity about the reasons behind the problem. They both decide to consider Tara's proposal to bring the project back on track. I'm sorry Tara, I wasn't aware that the occasional leaves by few of my team members weren't accounted for in the project plan. Due to some urgent and personal issues, two of my team members had to take on planned holidays. I didn't see anything wrong in giving them the time off for a day or two. Yes Tara. I agree with Omar. We really didn't think it through. We never thought unplanned leaves will impact the project so much. We were just trying to support our team. Omar and Alia are feeling a bit disappointed. I shouldn't blame or accuse them for the situation, instead I must empathize with them, and let them know that I understand their concerns. Help Tara, be open and communicate her understanding, and empathy towards Alia's, and Omar's concerns. Select the correct option, and click Submit. Omar, and Alia, I understand your concerns. I agree that people do have emergencies, so not all holidays can be planned. However, any kind of leave should be accounted for in the project plan at all times. Omar, and Alia, irrespective of any personal issue or emergency. You shouldn't have allowed your team members to take unplanned holidays. Your first priority should be work. Omar, and Alia, due to an oversight on your part, you have caused troubles to your team members. The delay in the project is due to your bad planning and management. Click the audio icons to listen to the options again. Omar, and Alia, I understand your concerns. I agree that people do have emergencies, so not all holidays can be planned. However, any kind of leave should be accounted for in the project plan at all times. Well done. You helped Tara, be open and communicate her understanding and empathy towards Alias and Omar's concerns. Remember, empathizing or putting yourself in someone else's position will help you understand and evaluate the actions that they have taken. Your focus should be to resolve all issues while keeping in mind the other person's views and feelings. You cannot gain trust or make others collaborate with you if you judge them or force them to own up to their mistakes. Alia and Omar are glad that Tara has taken the time to understand their concerns. They appreciate Tara's empathetic approach and are now willing to extend their support in every possible way to save the project. Thanks, Tara. I appreciate that you tried to understand our side of the story too. I would like to understand your proposal of working overtime in detail. Yes Tara. I agree with Omar. Let's discuss it in detail, so that we can see if it's a workable solution or not. Sure guys. Thanks for your support. I will definitely need your help to check if the team can work extra hours to compensate for lost time. Tara, I think, we also have to get the agreement of the team members, before we implement the plan. I am happy that Omar, and Tara, are on board with the solution. Now, I have to communicate in such a manner that, the entire team also agrees to the solution, and gives their support. They should find the solution mutually beneficial and participate in making it work. Hello everyone. There is an important announcement that I have to make today. As most of you already know, we are lagging way behind on our current project, and need to work out a practical solution, to meet the deadline at the end of next week. 
You all have been working hard on this project right from the beginning. We only have a few more days to complete this project, and your support is crucial at this point. I have come up with a proposal, I hope all of you will agree to it. Help Tara, communicate two mutually agreeable solutions and seek the team's agreement. Select two correct options, and click Submit. To cover up for the lost hours, we seek each team member's support in contributing an additional one hour per day, on the project next week. To bring the project back on track, the entire team has to work late every evening, till the completion of the project. To maintain work-life balance, the team members can contribute the additional hours at their convenience and in collaboration with others. At this moment, the work-life balance cannot be accounted for and each member has to work extra hours to bring the project back on track. To make up for the lost hours, each team member has to put in extra hours, and there will be no further discussion on the topic. Click the audio icons to listen to the options again. Shortara. We'll be happy to pitch in all the support needed. This is a very important project, and we would like it to be successful. That's great. This is exactly the kind of enthusiasm and initiative we need during this difficult time. I'm sure we'll do great. Thank you, all of you. Well done. You helped Tara, be assertive and get the... After the successful completion of the project, Tara receives an appreciation mail from the client. She decides to share the good news with Omar and Dahlia. You both will be happy to know that the client has shared some great feedback for our work. Thank you, Tara. It was possible only because of your insight and assertiveness in making us believe the importance of putting in those extra hours to complete the project. I completely agree with Elia. Thanks. I really appreciate all your efforts and the team's collective hard work in making this project a success. Because of this team effort and the hard work of each team member, we were able to pull the project through. Thank you Tara. We will share your words of appreciation with the team. Congratulations. You helped Tara be assertive during her interaction with her colleagues Omar and Alia to convince them of the proposed solution. Now try applying your skills in another situation. Help Sam be assertive during his interact. Jack has been working as a program developer in a reputed IT company for the last one year. Today, Jack is going to have his performance review meeting with his boss, Sam. He is eagerly waiting for his turn. I think, this time I will definitely get a promotion. I have worked really hard in the past one year and I know everything about the product. In fact, with my knowledge, I can help all my team members with almost anything related to the product. Hum, Jack truly has very good technical knowledge, and is the go-to person for any kind of product-related information. But unfortunately, he is not a team player. He is never on time for our meetings, and is quite rude and disrespectful towards other team members. I should communicate these problems to Jack in a clear and assertive manner so that he can improve. Let me call him in for the meeting now. Sam calls in Jack to begin the discussion. Come in Jack. How are you feeling today? I am feeling good, thank you sir. In fact, I am quite excited about today's performance review meeting. That's great, Jack. Well, you've worked very hard and I am very impressed to see all the knowledge you have gained while working on the project this whole year. Thank you, sir. That is true. I have indeed learned a lot. At the same time, Jack, I would like to discuss some feedback that I have received about you from your other team members. Oh. Okay. Sure sir. Help Sam choose the most appropriate statement to communicate the feedback to Jack. Select the correct option, and click Submit. Jack, the entire team feels that you are often rude and disrespectful. Please work on your attitude and learn to be respectful. Also, you must always be on time for team meetings. Jack, despite repeated warnings, you are late to meetings. Don't force me to take disciplinary action against you. 
Moreover, if you continue to be rude and disrespectful towards your team members, you would end up being the most hated person in the office, Jack, I have to let you know that your team members find you rude and disrespectful. Also, please try to be on time for team meetings. Click the audio icons to listen to Sam's thoughts again. Jack tries to defend himself after hearing Sam's feedback. Sir, I have never been rude to anyone. I am outspoken, but you cannot call that being rude. Also, don't you agree that I know most about our product than all my team members? Yes, I am late to the meetings but shouldn't it be okay? I do not miss out on anything because you always tell me what all I missed in my absence. I must try to explain my feedback to Jack, and make my point by giving valid reasons. Help Sam be direct and communicate his feelings and concerns related to the situation. Select the correct option, and click Submit. Jack, I don't have time all day to talk about your behavior. Be on time to the team meetings and avoid talking to your team members if you can't avoid being rude. Jack, it's quite frustrating and a waste of time for everyone, when you arrive late to team meetings and then expect us to repeat the information, that you missed. Similarly, People get upset by your rude behavior and do not want to work with you, despite your knowledge about the product. These behavioral issues overshadow your hard work, Jack. Jack, I understand your frustrations. However, it's my job to give you feedback. Unfortunately, I don't have much in my control. It's between you and your colleagues. Click the audio icons to listen to Sam's thoughts again. Jack realizes that Sam has raised genuine concerns. He opens up to Sam and seeks his help to improve himself. Sir, I never realized that my lateness to official meetings could be a cause of frustration to others. I apologize, but I am truly helpless. I often forget about the scheduled meetings when I am engrossed in my work. I don't want to be late to meetings, but I often lose track of time when I'm working. Also, I am quite surprised that the team members think that I am rude. Again, I would like to state that it has never been my intent to hurt or disrespect my colleagues. Hum, I understand Jack's problems. I should be empathetic towards him. I could tell him that every person is different, some are more sensitive and some are a little less sensitive. Therefore, I should be careful in the usage of words to convey my thoughts. Also, we could together try to find a solution to his problem of arriving late to team meetings. Help Sam be open and communicate his understanding and empathy towards Jack's concerns. Select two correct options, and click Submit. Jack, I know how easy it is to forget about something when one is engrossed in work. Let's find a way to help you remember about scheduled meetings. Jack, it doesn't matter what you are doing. When others in the team can always be on time for meetings, I don't understand why it is so difficult for you to do the same. Jack, whether it is your intention or not, people will get offended if you are rude. In the team, you have no choice but to be respectful towards others. Jack, you can't be too casual about how you say things to others. Also, there is no excuse for being late to meetings. I don't want any excuses. Don't give me any more reasons to be annoyed with you. Jack, I understand that you never intend to be rude. However, you can avoid being rude or disrespectful by choosing the right words and controlling the way you communicate. Always speak to others, the way you would like others to speak to you, politely and respectfully. Click the audio icons to listen to Sam's thoughts again. Jack is very glad that Sam has taken the time to understand his concerns. He appreciates Sam's empathetic and kind approach, and is now willing to correct his behavior and actions. Sir, thanks for hearing my side of the story. I am glad that you understand my difficulty. I would really like your help to improve myself. It's my pleasure, Jack. I appreciate that you have taken a step forward to change for the better. Let's deal with your problems one by one. So, what can we do to ensure that you come to team meetings on time? Well. I could ask my colleagues every now and then to remind me of the meetings. I don't think that would be a feasible solution. In fact, you would be disturbing your colleagues by doing so. 
Maybe you could try to begin your day with a to-do list and set alarms on your phone as meeting reminders. What do you think? That's a great idea, sir. Thank you. You're welcome, Jack. Now, let's see how we can manage the issue of you being perceived as rude. Often, we appear rude when we let our emotions take over. As a general rule, I like to think before I speak. I force myself to pause for two to three seconds before responding. It gives me time to think about what I should say and analyze whether or not it's going to hurt someone's feelings. Do you want to try the same for yourself too? Thanks sir. I am sure this will be helpful. Good to know that, Jack. Let's just go over the solutions once again so that you are clear about the right course of actions. Help Sam communicate two mutually agreeable solutions and seek Jack's agreement on same. Select two correct options and click submit. Jack, you could make a to-do list for the day to remind yourself of the upcoming meetings and ask your team members to be more tolerant of your behavior. Jack, you must work towards being polite and respectful in your communication and find a practical solution to arrive on time to team meetings. Jack, you could make a to-do list for the day to remind yourself of the upcoming meetings and set alarms on your phone as meeting reminders. Jack, Try to keep a check on your emotions and pause to think before speaking to ensure you are always polite and courteous. Jack, you can't take advantage of your knowledge and be excused for your rude behavior or a lack of punctuality, so speak with someone who is polite and punctual to improve yourself. Click the audio icons to listen to Sam's thoughts again. After three weeks, Jack meets Sam to discuss his progress. Jack. I am very happy with your progress. You have attended all official meetings on time this month. Thank you, sir. Making a to-do list really helped me foresee if there was a meeting scheduled for that day. Also, setting meeting reminders 15 minutes in advance helped me wrap up whatever I was doing before the meeting began. That's great, Jack. In fact, I saw your picture on the gratitude wall too. Many of your team members have thanked you for your support to them. Yes, sir. It's so rewarding to see myself on that wall. With the change in my attitude, thanks to your tips, my team members are now quite comfortable talking to me and have been seeking my support. Thanks for everything, sir. I am truly grateful. That's excellent. I am sure that with this positive attitude, you will rise high in your career, Jack. Congratulations. You successfully helped Sam be assertive in his interactions with his junior colleague, Jack, in the given situation.